Hello everyone, welcome back to Sports with Cashy. Today I'll be analyzing the next four matches of the Champions League. They'll be played tomorrow night and day after tomorrow night. The matches are Eintracht Frankfurt vs Napoli, Liverpool vs Real Madrid, Porto vs Inter, Inter Milan and also RB Leipzig vs RB Leipzig versus Manchester City. Quickly I'll write something and then I'll start the analysis. Yes. Let me start off by analyzing the match between Eintracht Frankfurt and Napoli. Eintracht Frankfurt have a no K team. Nothing too impressive. Their goalie is Kevin Schrapp. Their defense has Chandler, Tuta, Ndika, and Lenz. Midfield has Jakic, So, Road, and forward Lindstrom, Kamada, and Moani. Other than Kolo Moani, no notable names there. No, no household names there. Kolo Moani isn't even a total household name. But anyone who watched the World Cup final is sure to know Kolo Mwani for because he scored the penalty in the penalty shootout and he's the reason why he's the reason why Otamendi fouled him and got gave away a penalty to France. Napoli's team has goalkeeper Alex Merritt, defenders Rui, Rahmani, Jay and Di Lorenzo. Midfielder Zielinski, Lobotka, and Elmas. Attack has Giovanni Simeon, Victor Osimhen. A player that impresses me a lot because he's gone from sell- selling sachets of water in Nigeria to being a professional footballer and top goal scorer in Syria. And Quart Cheklia. Eintracht Frankfurt doesn't don't have too many great backups. They have Mario Godze, who anyone everyone knows for his world cup final goal against argentina but he's past his prime now napoli have okay backups such as herving lozano ndombele Oliveira, and stuff yeah so who do i think no now let me give a strategy for napoli so the defense for Eintracht Frankfurt isn't that good. They have a decent midfield and attack. So, Victor Osimhen is a great good goal scorer. So, he should get into positions where it's really hard for the defenders to defend. And Osimhen should take center stage and try striking goals. While everyone else tr- should support him in the attack and lend passes to him. Who do I think is going to win? Simply put, Napoli. They have a better team. We all know that Rosimhen is much better than Kolo Moani. Now, for our next match. (coughs) A match which... (coughs) (coughs) So, did I have a cough? Interests you more than some Eintracht front for Napoli. Liverpool versus Real Madrid. These two teams faced off in the... UEFA Champions League Finals 20 in the past. So, the, so this is an interesting encounter. First, let's start off by seeing Liverpool team. Goalie, Alison Becker. Defense, Andy Robertson, Joe Gomez, Virgil van Dijk and Alexander Arnold. Midfield, Jordan Henderson. Fabinho and Thiago. Attack, Darwin Nunez, Roberto Fomino and Mohamed Salah. Their backups are decent. They have, they, their backups are pretty good, honestly. They have Joel Matip, Ibrahim Konate, James Milner, Cody Gakpo, Luis Diaz. Really good backups, to be honest. Now, when you come to the Real Madrid's team, they have their goalkeeper as Thibaut Courtois, Belgium star, defense Danny Carvajal, Anthony Rudiger, Militao, and David Alba. 
Midfield, they have Tony Cruz, Edward Kamavinga, Luka Modric, and Federico Valverde. Attack, they have Karim Benzema, and the man who's proved everyone wrong about his shooting, Vinicius Jr. Their backups aren't that great when it comes to mid defense and mid defense, but their attacking backups are pretty good. Eden Hazard and Marco Asensio. Now who now I'm supporting Liverpool. What's my strategy for Liverpool? Real Madrid's a really hard team to encounter. But they have Van Dyke too as a star defender. So Benzema, Ju, so Van Dyke should really keep an eye on Benz, Benzema, and to some extent, Vin, and Joe Gomez should take center stage and trying to stop Vinicius Junior. They have good <coughs> midfielders like Modric, Modric and Cruz. Modric and Cruz are really capable of providing good passes. Henderson and Fabinho should keep them in check and Gomez and Van Dyke should keep Benzema Jr. in check. This is the defensive strategy in my opinion. So now if if Henderson and Fabinho are able to get the ball from Modric or Cruz, then, then Andy Robertson and Arnold should immediately come to support and the forward should go near to the penalty box. So Robertson and Arnold should come forward. They get past Kamavinga and David Alaba and and also, and deploy good passes to Sa to Salah, Nunez and Firmino. Predominantly Salah because he is the best of them all. So, this is going to be the strategy Liverpool should try against Real Madrid. Who do I think is going to win? Real Madrid. Well, well, well. I'm saying this. Liverpool's 8th in the EPL. What do you expect from them? Real Madrid. Both these teams will be determined to win. Because Real Madrid isn't in a good position in La Liga. Neither is Liverpool the EPL. So both are determined to win. But I think Real Madrid is simply put the favourite. If they didn't have Benzema, Liverpool would be favourite. But now that they have Benzema, got to accept that Real is the better team. Hopefully Liverpool can pull off the strategy I gave and win. But... They also favorite. Next match, Porto versus Inter Milan. Porto's team, goalie Diogo Costa, not Diego, Diogo. Defense, Sanusi, Cardoso, Malano, Pepe. Midfield, Otavio, Bruno, Vribe. Forwards, Brazilian Pepe, Th- Mehdi Taremi, Iranian star striker, and Evan Nelson. No great backups there. Not that good a team. Now when you see Inter Milan's now Inter Milan's team. Goalie Andre Onana. Defense. Di Mario Skriniar. Denzel Dumfries. Divri. Midfield. Kalam Nugulu. Mekitarian. Barea. Attack. Zeko. Martinez. Lukaku. Who am I supporting? Inter. Well, th- th- for Inter, it's pretty easy. People like Mkhitaryan, Barea should deploy passes to the star strikers like Zeko, Lukaku, and Lotaro. And these star strikers should all be there. And if and they should be what? They should be backups. I mean, backups are easy. When you have three strikers, like for example, one backup should be there for Lukaku because he hasn't been in the best of form lately. So I think Lukaku needs a backup from one of the attackers. But I think 
Inter Milan should level the strategy and they can win easily. Who do I think is gonna win? Inter Milan only. Porto doesn't even have that great a team. They don't have a great manager either. So I expect Inter Milan to win. Finally, we come to our last match. RB Leipzig versus Manchester City. RB Leipzig team, goalkeeper, Blaswich, defense, Rom, uh, Urban, Guardio, Henry, Misfield, Haidara, Zos, Zobos, Lai, and Fosberg. Attack, Silva, Werner, Nkunku, Manchester City, Goalie, Ederson, Defense, Kyle Walker, Ruben Diaz, John Stones, Nathan Ake, Midfield, Rodri, it's pretty good, big midfield, Rodri, Foden, De Bruyne, Mahrez, Grealish, Haaland. Manchester strategy. Rodri doesn't need to help the attack much because Leipzig has a really good, oh yeah, I forgot about the backups. Paulson is a decent backup for Leipzig and Manchester City has Julian Alvarez and Ikea Gundogan to back them up. What good backups. Manchester City strategy should be to have a defensive plan this time. Rodri doesn't need to help the attack. It should be clear. Defensive midfielder should help the defense. The people like De Bruyne can do both. And the rest should attack. When you have Foden, Grealish, Mares, and Haaland on the attack, Joshua scoring goals. Who do I think is going to win? Manchester City. They have the better team. <coughs> okay, okay. Now, who do I think? Are gonna be the eight teams who make it to the quarterfinals. Well, well. I think the eight team making to quarterfinals will be Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich, Tottenham Hotspur. I think they'll come back next game. Borussia Dortmund. Club um, Benfica Napoli Real Madrid Inter Milan and Manchester City. Thanks for watching. Please come back for my next video. I don't know if I'll do the messy documentary, but hopefully all goes well and you get to enjoy a good messy documentary of mine. Bye bye.